Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Party Patrol. It's Party Patrol. We're patrolling the party. We're out on the town, and the town, it's and just the, the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> just Interesting. Just... So you are also robot voicing onto stream. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Huh. I do not know why. Especially with your absurdly low ping. Yeah. Yeah. Have you restarted your computer this century? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, cool. and that sounded better. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, uh. All right. All right. It's also a very rainbow stream right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I wish I could force I I could the SRT force to the SRT work on my second graphics card but i cannot graphics card but i cannot we detect your camera is either disconnected your camera yeah, there we go. Disconnected. I, I, was, I forgot that i have this to zoom in so that it's not really far away yeah yeah it's cool that every time i stream i get to open seven extra programs I don't know what that's like at I don't oh. know what that's like <laughs> I just I just hate it because I like being able to alt tab between like three different uh like screens total. Yeah. Yeah. Forgot how I have the very bad weapon equipped right now. I'm gonna undo that because I don't want to ever have to do with that. <laughs> oh, hi, Kristen's apparently here. Oh, was I not supposed to be? Oh, no, you are. We just I just didn't know. Oh, so I just looked over. I was like, either John has connected a computer. I'm also what? I'm also what? Well, you didn't tell me. Well, you didn't tell me. Well, you didn't tell me. <laughs> The doggy wants to see Aiden. The doggy wants to see Aiden. Hi, doggy. Do you want to say hi to everyone else? Just that it gets me and not you. Just that it gets me and not you. Yeah. Maybe it'll get the doggy. Maybe it'll get the doggy. <sighs> nope. You better turn. Yeah. And then it stopped. Let's try this again, but with a good weapon. You're not in trouble. You're a good girl. You're not a good weapon, but you're a good dog. I think they want me to actually work now, Luke. I'm sorry. I'd rather pet you.
What makes sense? What makes sense? That's what Jockey wants me. I'm stuck. Bye guys, I'm gonna go die now. Hey, I beat him. Yes, you definitely did. Oh, is he not coming at all? I oh, know, we just. <laughs> I have no idea where he is. Oh, okay. So, uh, is everyone excited for Monday? You know, the one person here who's going to be part of it. Can you hear John? Uh, I cannot hear John. Okay. It was really funny how you were ignoring his question, but, uh... Oh, no, it's because I can't hear him. Okay. His camera's frozen for me as well. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Can you hear Dom? All right, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Boy, this awesome. is a technical difficulty spilled episode, awesome. and it's been yeah. 12 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. For real. For real. Ugh. Actually, yeah, so it's, don't it's worry. Been... I was not intentionally ignoring any questions. <laughs> it's but been seven minutes and 11 seconds. Your seven minutes and 11 seconds. Say again, Chris? I am excited about Monday. I am Good. excited about Monday. Do you have your character made? <laughs> if, if you say no, then good. But I wanna make it! I wanna That's make too bad. it! I wanna write the backstory! I wanna show up prepared with all the homework done already! The homework is to not do any extra work. Yep. Yep. All right, Dom. To right. ask you again. Yes. Dom. Uh, do you remember again. Super Ted? Uh, do you remember Super no. Ted? No. What is Super Ted? Super Ted. Super Ted. Super Ted is a British superhero Super animated TV British series about an anthropomorphic teddy bear with superpowers. Teddy bear with what? No, I've <laughs> never even heard of it. Aw, just me. <laughs> Kristen, what about you? Kristen, what about you? Dang. Dang. Lower this. We're not recording anything anymore. Um. Yeah, Super Ted um, is great. Yeah, Super Ted. Um, it sounds is bad. Great. It's it's got John Pertwee, the third doctor, the third doctor, I think. Third doctor. Oh. So this and is it... from a long time ago. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I thought this was like you know early, but not like something maybe my dad saw. Uh, so the, the animated uh, series so was 83 to 86, and then there's an American produced version, The Further Adventures of Super Ted, in 89, by Hanna Barbera. In 89, by Hanna oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. It was Why also you know the first also series, the uh, first British series animated series to air on, um, to air on Disney Channel. Uh, Every fact you tell me about this sounds fake and made up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's great. I love uh, it. It's great. I love it. Um, the story follows an ordinary teddy bear who, upon his creation at a toy factory, was deemed defective and thrown away into a store's room. By chance. Hold on. Hold on, the first thing you've told me is that the teddy bear is normal, and then the second thing you've told me is that he was immediately declared defective. Mm -hmm. that, 
That means there was no period of life where he was considered a normal teddy bear. No, he was normal, but he was de no, he determined was normal, defective. Was they thought he was defective, even though he wasn't. They thought he was defective. By chance, he is discovered by Spotty, by a visiting alien Spotty, from the planet Spot, who decides to bring the bear to life using his cosmic dust. Spotty then brings the now living teddy bear to Mother Nature, who gives the bear special powers, transforming him into Super Ted. Whenever trouble arises, Super Ted whispers his secret magic word and transforms into a superhero adorned with a red suit, cape, and rock boots. This is this is my favorite part that I had forgotten. Um. Until I looked this up the other day, when it just like popped back into my head. As Super Ted and Spotty travel across the world, and sometimes even space, to help others in need, they find themselves up against the nefarious and greedy cowboy, Texas Pete. And his two inch. Texas Pete is the bad guy? Yes. Why? Oh, Texas Pete. And his two henchmen, the overweight and bumbling Bulk, and the cowardly and effeminate Skeleton, as he seeks to either rule the world or increase his own wealth. Texas Pete has a skeleton? Yep. How many genres is he? Yep. Uh... I am also just thinking of Skeletor with a Texas accent, though. Yeah, no, Skeleton is just yeah, no, a skeleton is just that is alive and moves around. That is alive. Yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of what them to both be sort of the same character. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I, I do think Skeletor with a Texan accent would be good. Texas Pete, or Tex as he is Texas known to Pete. others, Tex. is one of the meanest Tex. cowboys on the planet with his trusty six shooters and lasso. So he's just a regular cowboy. You <laughs> described a regular cowboy. This is this is a wild sentence. This is, this is a wild sentence. In the Every further sentence you've said <laughs> has been a wild sentence. In the further adventures of Super Ted, in the Tex sings a song Ted. called "Let's Tex All Get Real" because I'm a big deal. Let's all get real kidnaps Speckles deal. from Blotch kidnaps and sees Speckles Bubbles the Blotch Clown. And sees Bubbles the Clown. Uh huh. <laughs> you know I follow. Obviously that happens, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, naturally that's yes! how it would go. Yes! Planned relaunch. In March 2021, it was announced work had begun on new episodes with a view to relaunch the show by 2023. That is a bad choice that has been made. <laughs> Uh, Out of curiosity, John, why did you bring up this line of conversation? Uh, so I think it's specifically like, because of being of Super Ted existing. Someone, someone mentioned it again on someone Reddit, and I was like, what the heck? Because I thought it was, I, I read Super Ted, and I thought it was something else, and I clicked it and went, holy shit, that's what this is? Holy shit, that's what this is? Because I used to watch Super Ted back in the day. I used to watch Super Ted back in the day. I, nev I, I never had TV. Like, I we had a yeah. TV. Like, you didn't have a TV, you watched a lot of TV growing up. We, we, we could technically get we, the, like, Sunday morning funnies the, like, or Saturday, Sunday I don't know, because I would never get up that early. Um, uh, but, like, uh, we got but PBS like, and... We got and the other like big ones like Fox and CBS, so nothing enjoyable. Um, and so we went to like Blockbuster a bunch, and like Blockbuster had Super Ted. Blockbuster had Super Ted. And you're like, Mom, give me Super Ted. She's like, Oh God, this child's going nowhere in life. And she wasn't wrong. And she wasn't wrong. No, now you're a Twitch Drew. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, Apparently, Victor Spinetti, Apparently, the voice of uh, Super, Ted, of, died uh, Super Ted, died in 2012. Super Ted died in 2012. Bummer.
But apparently, uh, Texas Pete, but is, apparently, going uh, Texas Pete is going to be voiced by Jim Cummings. By Jim Cummings in the in the upcoming series. Where it says probably will be voiced by. It probably will be voiced by. So you don't actually know for sure. So and Jim Cummings is Winnie the Pooh, so, Tigger, Tasmanian Devil, Tigger, Pete, Tasmanian Darkwing Devil, Duck, etc. Oh okay. That'd be a good person for it. I know that the only one that anyone cares about there is Darkwing the Duck, but you know, dark I had to get through the the boring stuff to I get there. To get through yeah, the John. Boring stuff when there's trouble, there. you call DW. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Man, the Game Boy game for that was Man, trash. Real? I mean, that doesn't surprise me. It, it surprised me that there was a Game Boy game, honestly. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Super Ted. Damn, Super Ted. I need to go back and rewatch some Super Ted. No. It's gonna be bad. I don't promise you right now, you do not have to do this. <laughs> Cause I, I know that like... You have enough things I, that I you that, actually like, have to do. No, speaking of, uh, it's a little no, early to of, announce this, but, uh, Deep Divers is coming back. But, uh, Deep oh, Divers yeah. is coming back. Um, with um, such exciting things as such exciting Fast things and Furious. As... Fast and Furious. And more Fire Emblem. More Fire Emblem. And maybe and Sailor Moon? Maybe Sailor Moon? You never know. You never know. Speaking of Fast and Furious, uh, we just got in the complete collection of Fast and Furious. Oh, really? Which uh, is not the complete which, collection uh, anymore. Not the complete collection. <laughs> it's it's the Fast yeah, and Furious eight. movies from one the through eight, but it does not include Hobbs and Shaw or, of course, F9, which just came out. F9, which just came out. And Wait, and Hobbs I. Hobbs and Shaw is and a Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Yep. It's a spin-off. <laughs> it's a spin-off. It's I mean it's the, 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 the game nuts I mean, and bolts and tried to make a movie out of the, it. The full title of Hobbs and Shaw full is Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Presents Hobbs and Shaw. Wild. Has to be a connection to the Banjo Kazooie game. It's not Banjo and Kazooie. It's not Banjo and Kazooie. It's nuts and bolts. That would be that would be incredible that if there was Fast and Furious nuts and bolts, or Banjo Kazooie nut, uh, Fast, and Banjo <laughs> Fast and Furious. Yes, it would be bad. I mean, I bad. think it would just be the Fast and Furious and Kazooie. It's fair. It's fair. I'd accept that. Or accept I, I would also like to see Fast and Knuckles. <laughs> Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry I love series. that they can put that symbol on I the uh, Smash Brothers. That symbol on the uh, Smash Brothers. Uh, Wait, what? Ultimate. Dante. Ultimate. Isn't he? Dante. Didn't I no. see that? Didn't I don't I think that? so. Ah, uh, okay. Then that's that's what should be the last character. Then that's oh yeah, it, it definitely should. should. Uh, what's sad is they re-released Nocturne, which is the game that has the. Uh, Featuring Dante for the Devil May Cry series, and I think he's not in this remake. What? What? I, I I don't remember, or maybe it's still DLC or something. I don't remember. There was something about it that was like that made me sad that it was not like they couldn't just immediately say that. Although I'm looking up, Although I'm looking up Nocturne, the well, is the, is this the 1999 survival horror the video game? Survival uh, probably. Video it, it'll it's better known as Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, I believe. That is a different game then. Okay. That is a yeah. different game then. Okay. Uh. Okay, remaster was announced. Remaster was announced. 
July of 2020. July of 2020. Uh. A Maniacs Pack downloadable content pack item launched alongside the game, restoring Dante in place of Raidu Kuzunoha. It was apparently a wild thing for Dante to be there, because it was basically just like you're doing your quest, and then Dante shows up, and then you just can get him <laughs> as a party member. <sighs> Love it when that happens. Just, yeah, oh, cool. we're just like, oh yeah, this character is also here. And you're like, oh! We got to talk about Stupid Ted, so I'm happy. Oh, yeah, uh, about... Is that your one oh, goal yeah, for tonight? Uh, about... No. I had four no. goals. Had um, four um... The... The other thing I wanted to say about the, Fast the and the Furious is that... We're, we're furious. talking about it for, for Deep Divers, and I know the original idea was that we would know, know nothing going into it, but I really it. want to watch but Fast and the Furious. Fast. This is pretty much gonna be the last one where we actually like the last one where we actually watch like, the thing I mean, and try to describe thing. it. And try like to like, like that's the, this. Like, I, I feel like a few things this, like this like and maybe Godzilla. Like, this and maybe Godzilla. You could watch all of them and then still have no idea what happened and, and be just as clueless yeah. going into it. <laughs> Especially because like in the time it takes you to finish watching them, you definitely forget what happened in the first couple. Yeah, because like the last two are like two and a half hours each in Fast. Two and a half hours each Like, <laughs> it's gonna take a chunk of my life. Yeah. Also, I wanna. Yeah. This also, is wanna... this is spoilers, I guess, is, for Fast and the Furious spoilers, One, a movie that came out forever one, ago. Um, yeah. And um, also for. Deep Divers, because this is going to be the first fact divers, I mentioned there as well. The first fact I mentioned uh, there as well. It, uh, how did this come out in 2001? How did this come out in 2001? Um, the, the movie um, starts out the, with the a bunch of modified out, Honda Civics modified assaulting Honda Civics, a truck carrying high-value electronic carrying goods. High value electronic and goods. the the rest and of the plot the is like the street racing and... Going undercover to figure out who's the crew stealing, stealing these these super high value electronic goods. Value Dom, electronic can you guess what the electronic Dom, goods are on this truck? Unfortunately, I actually can because I I actually <laughs> was watching a group of people playing a horror game and they mentioned it. Uh, is it a VHS slash DVD TV combo? No. No, 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 no. It's no, not that no, new. No, 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 it's no, no. just it's VCRs. It's just oh, it's okay. VCRs. It's just a... Yeah, DVDs didn't exist yet. Yeah, DVDs this this is, this is VCRs. VCRs. Yeah, v VCRs and yeah, VCR TVs. But like, VCRs the majority VCR of the things you see in there are just the the VCRs. Are just VCRs. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. Wild. And then, like in the one of the most recent then, ones, like, I think it actually is. Ones, I think it actually I don't. Is, they they made. I don't, I've I've heard so many they, people they talking made, about I've Fast and the Furious in the past week. The in the past uh, week. both like the old ones and the newest uh, one that like came out. Um, in one of the the most recent movies, one of the they're like trying movies, to they're like capture trying technology to that like immediate like scans all like. Cameras, cameras and cell phones in the entire world to immediately pinpoint where pe certain people are. Like, like the the stuff like, like from the, Batman the stuff Two. From Batman. Like the the. Like the the. Oh, which which bat? It's not beyond the Dark Knight. Beyond the Dark Knight. I think that I think it's the Dark Knight. I think that I think it's the Dark Knight. Um. Isn't the Dark Knight the first? One of those no, that that one's no, begins. No, that that one's yeah. begins. That's weird that it's. Night, and then Dark Knight Rises because you know let's make two movies have the same name. Yeah. So the second no. movie, he was the Dark Knight, yeah, but he hadn't no. gone out of bed yet. Mhm. Mm now nah, he was still sleepy. He was on his phone. Now nah, he was still sleepy. He was on his phone. Mhm. Mm 
It's not his problem. Pretty good movies. I think Pretty slightly movies. overrated. I think slightly I overrated. I never really saw them because I was I not really interested in... I halfway through Dark Knight and never saw Dark Knight Rises. I'm just like, I'm never interested in like, grim Batman. Yeah, I mean, like, they're really, really yeah, I mean, well-made like, movies. Really, really well they are. Made movies. They are. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm always gonna be a sucker <laughs> for the, uh... <laughs> Mr. Freeze. Oh, God. Mr. Freeze. Honestly, I think he should just... Like, I've said it before, I really think he... That Mr. Freeze should show back up. Yeah. With and, absolutely no explanation. Yeah. Like, it's just <laughs> completely, totally different than the rest of it. Uh, uh, kind of like how, um, uh, kind of like how, um, uh, what is that actor? J.K. Simmons is J. Simmons J. Jonah Jameson in, like, three J. different Jameson versions of like Spider-Man at this point. Wait, what? Point. Yeah, he's, he's the original yeah, Spider-Man. He's, he's, uh, he's also Spider in the Venom saga. Uh, he's also in the Venom saga. Uh, and I think he's uh, in the, yeah, the video games yeah, now. The ones that are, like, completely different, um... Oh, yeah, the, like, Spider-Man PlayStation games that are apparently really good? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he's a very good J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, okay, let's see. He's uh, okay, the Sam Raimi. He's the Sam Raimi. Um, the, the Sam Raimi, um, Spider-Man. The, the, the original three with the, the stupid the goofy hair and, like, stupid goofy oh. hair. I, I thought that was Tobey Maguire. Guns. Yes, Sam, Sam Raimi's the, um, Sam, Sam Raimi uh, director. The, um... Oh, that's That's you. the the Sam Raimi trilogy. That's, that's the, um, Sam Raimi. So he's uh, he's J. 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 Jonah Jameson in the Sam Raimi trilogy. Uh, multiple animated series. Multiple animated series. The Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, films. Spider-Man: Far, Spider no Far From Home and No Way Home. I hope he also looks exactly the same uh, for those. Like I hope they did literally like no work. Oh yeah, no, no. no. It's it's just oh, yeah, no, no. It's J. K. Simmons being the exact same character. Being the exact because like character. he's such a good like. I, I don't know. He was just like perfect for it. Uh huh. No, I mean he's. Uh huh. No, he's, I mean, he's J. Jonah Jameson. He's, like, he, he, he just. Jameson. He always will be. Uh, and and I think that Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, and, and, that and it's the same J. Jonah Jameson. And I think that Jake uh, that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, that, uh, Mr. Freeze should be the same Mr. Freeze throughout every incarnation of Batman. Every incarnation of. He's like. He should be like, oh, you took the nipples off your outfit, huh? And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. Was it like a Discover Batman card? Like a Discover Batman card? Uh... No, it's Goth card. No, it's Goth card. <laughs> what? Batman and Robin, he like, Batman they have to Robin, pay for something, like, and so he oh flips God, out his like bat card. credit card, and, so and it's like, it's got the Batman symbol on it, and then at the bottom it says Batman, and then good through forever. Batman forever. Ah, uh, it's a goth card. And he like, flips out, and he's like, got the bat card. Or got got my goth card. Never leave home without it. <laughs> so yeah, I clearly part. a plan so, for like, cause like credit cards, for, like, cause like credit cards, weren't like they're they're a weren't, really like, recent thing. Really, and I think they had just like, and I think they had just then gotten just then got somewhat mainstream. Somewhat mainstream. So this was a push from so this was a push from credit companies trying to get you to credit companies trying to get you to. <laughs> Yeah, similar to how Stanley Companies technology. did the thing for movies where whenever people got engaged, they would have a, they would like, buy a diamond ring. Yeah. It's gross. Yeah. I hate it. It's gross. Same. I hate it. it is funny whenever I mention that to people, though, they're like, wait, what? I thought that was just always how things work. I'm like, no! No. I mean, rings at all weren't I mean, a rings thing at all for a long time. Yeah, you know time. what you did when you wanted to get married to someone? You told you them, got hey, me. you want to get married? And they're like, yeah, and you're like, cool, that was my proposal. And they're like, yeah, exactly, that's all I wanted. Yeah. 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 Or, 
their dad came to you and were like, hey, they're knocked up, you're marrying them. And you're like, well, I guess I'm marrying them. I guess I'm marrying them. There, that was it. There was no rings there, or anything. Was it. it was just was you. No rings or anything. You decided you, you were married, you and then you went down to the courthouse and you were married. I'm hoping in that scenario that you've laid out, uh, he says that to the person who knocked them up, and not just to Correct. somebody. <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> Presumably. Hey, my daughter's pregnant. You married her. It's like, oh. Well, I don't really know your daughter. It's like, yeah, yeah well, I don't like it's her okay. husband, so I'm I want you to do it. Some, like, uh, goats or something to go with her. Oh, okay, well, that's fine then. Oh. Yeah. As long as I have something with value, yeah. I can take your daughter to. As long as I have something too. with value, I can take your daughter to. Great. I like how the current modern-day idea of, like, getting permission from the father or whatever is, like, the, the point of it is to ensure that you will be able to, like, take care of her financially, but apparently in the past it was, I need you to give me money to take care of your daughter. <laughs> well, it was it was more of a case because, well, like, it was more of a case cause nowadays, like, and it's nowadays, weird saying this, considering, uh, saying uh, this the way considering the world works, uh, um, the way People um, care about their children and about want children them to have a good life afterwards. Uh, whereas, it's wild that that's a recent development, uh, apparently. Oh, it's wild that that's oh, it's wild technically that a true statement. Because, you know, women still aren't you know, treated like equals. Treated right, like Kristen? Equals. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Right, um, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> um... <laughs> um but yeah, like previously, it wasn't a yeah, case like, of like I want wasn't a case to make of, like, you know I want make sure that my daughter is going to be okay. Sure it was my daughter, my daughter is, is a burden okay. to me, my daughter and I'm willing to pay you to take them off my hands. My my daughter is a burden to everyone involved. Yeah. Will so, you take on this burden so that I don't have to? No. Here, I will give you Here, a large portion you of my large belongings of so my that. I can go on without her. I can go on without her. See? We're we're see? We're, we're getting we're, better as a race. We're getting better as a race. Yes, much. <laughs> yes, much. Congrats. We've done less than the bare minimum. Yeah. Well, I kind of wanted to wait until Tim was here well, to talk about this, but, um, here to talk about this, but, uh, well, well, Tim's never going to be here, apparently. Um, uh, charge my watch. Oh, shut up. Fuck. Uh, now we're not going to get ad. Yep. Stupid fucking yep. thing. Stupid what happened? Thing. Uh, my dumb phone decided uh, to talk. Listen to a podcast because apparently he doesn't think our show is good enough. Yeah. <laughs> can I? Can I just yeah. play someone else's so podcast someone so that else's like podcast I don't have to do any work? I don't Ooh, have to let's do work. a react video. Play <laughs> their podcast and we'll do commentary on it. It's called the podcast segment. <laughs> uh. Uh. Let me get this gone. Um, well, I wanted to wait until, until Tim was here, but it's not gonna happen, so, uh, have you seen the, all the, the space talk in the news? All the, the space talk in the news? Alright, so... I don't really look at the news or space. so... Fair enough. Fair enough. Um... Trying to look up the specific... Uh, just I answer me, does it have to do with Elon Musk? I think this is it. So, uh, technically. So, um, and, and, um, and it's worse and, than that because pretty much we're just talking about billionaires being billionaires. Um, oh, is this so, a picture of, like, billionaires, like, a, a news story that was about billionaires and then the headline at the bottom is just, like, millions of people unemployed? <laughs> no, no, but, uh, yeah. No, funny meme. But, uh, yeah, funny yeah. meme. Anyways, um, so there's there's Anyways, three um, main, so there's, there's three um, main um, billionaire run space billionaire companies right now. There's space like, right I don't now. like that there's like, any, <laughs> like much less three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
trying to... Let's see. Trying to... Technically, there's four. Technically, okay, so there's... Uh, okay, so there's... SpaceX. Uh, run by SpaceX. Elon Musk, current run richest man in the Elon world. Musk, or maybe not, depending on the day or minute. Um, depending on whether or not he's tweeted um, about Bitcoin recently in order to up how much money he has. Uh, Jeff Bezos' uh, Blue Origin. Jeff Bezos is uh, Thanks for letting you on, letting us on your platform, Jeff Bezos, owner of Amazon and thus Twitch. You're a piece of shit. Um, yeah. uh, Virgin Galactic slash Virgin Orbit, owned by Richard Branson, British billionaire. Um, and a proud virgin, apparently. <laughs> it's a weird thing to name a company. Uh, and then Breakthrough uh, and Starshot. Owned by uh, Russian by, uh, Israeli billionaire Yuri Milner, and that's my first knowing of this. <laughs> first knowing of this. So, like, there's there's so, been mostly like, it's been a race between Elon been, Musk and Jeff Bezos. Like, Elon SpaceX is doing Bezos. a lot like, getting doing satellites and stuff into space, and it's now started actually like now taking people. Actually to the uh, space station. So, I mean, that's that's kind of cool. That's it's an actually working one. Um, let's see, what has Blue Origin done besides spend lots of money and fail to uh, actually give anything to NASA? Yeah, no, they're 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 yeah, working they're, on a moon lander, they're, they're which nobody cares about. Lander. Nobody cares about the moon. Whatever, we've already done that. Yeah, seriously, like, if if there was a reason to go back, we would have. There was a reason to go back, we would have. We went to the moon. We're like, this is a good thing. We've been to the moon, and then we went back like seven or eight times, and each time we we did the things we came to do, and then we came back, and we're like, well, we don't need to do that again. There's nothing new up there. I feel like the billionaires like doing all this kind of thing think that like the reason people go to the moon is to have gone to the moon instead of to like do scientific discoveries and then after those are done no longer need to do it anymore. Yeah. And then uh so then, Richard Branson's uh, thing so is uh, thing frankly, is, disgusting. uh frankly but, disgusting. But um the Virgin Galactic but, um, is all about Galactic space tourism. Yeah. And uh, technically also and, uh, like, technically low cost also small orbital launchers and intercontinental suborbital transit, but all of these things are just all of wildly expensive. And wildly expensive. Terrible and for the environment. Terrible yeah. for the environment. Like awful for the like, environment. And especially space tourism, which space tourism does nothing which for anyone. Does nothing but, for anyone. Yeah. But the, <laughs> the they each have like a different way they do it. So like Blue Origin like and so like SpaceX Origin both do SpaceX like rockets, do traditional like rockets, traditional, vertical like shoot up in the air, vertical Gemini air, rockets air, sort of things. Um, apparently Breakthrough uh, Starshot technically uh, exists Breakthrough and Starshot they're trying to do solar sail stuff, but good luck. Stuff, uh, they don't have luck. any working anything. Uh, they don't have any and um, and, and then uh, the way that Virgin Galactic then, works is Virgin, Galactic works Virgin Orbit. Is, I don't know which one it is. Is it's it's a it's a space plane. Space so it's kind of like plane. a fancy. So it's kind of like a fancy. 747's a terrible size for this. Uh, but like that that shape of plane like that that is nested between two other bigger. I guess it's bigger, technically one giant I guess big plane, one but it's like a a 747 connected at the wings, and it's like boosted up as high as it can go with that, and then the little rocket plane takes off on its own, and that's that's their space that's, tourism that's their uh, uh, delivery system, I guess. But they had their first launch recently. They had their first, their, launch, their first manned launch, and Richard Branson, the billionaire, put his his 
I guess money where his mouth is, or he 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 trusted in his own he trusted in his own uh hard work and actually went up in the maiden flight of this, which I think is is pretty cool because like most of these people are like cool y'all can go launch up and things and I'm gonna stay here and if it blows up then I won't be dead. Um, yeah. Uh, so he went up, but he also uh, went up so with like he went up, but he also went up with two like, other of his richest friends and two other of his richest like friends some people that paid to go up, as well as some people that actually knew what they were doing. Um, but they 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 took their maiden flight. It went okay, I assume, or else it would have been more in the news that they're dead. Uh, yeah. And you just said it, unfortunately. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> And, uh, and like Elon Musk was was like tweeting, I'll Elon I'll be there Musk to cheer you on. I'll I'll, I'll come, I'll come to the launch and like I'll, I'll you know, come to pat you on the back yeah. as you get in and say pat goodbye. You know. I mean, he did. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Um, Jeff yeah. Bezos responded to this. Jeff Bezos they like, responded to this. They like not a real space launch. Not a. Real it doesn't even go go past the Carmen line. Go past the Carmen line. So, so the, the, basically, Elon Musk was actually supportive of a human being, being, human being other than himself. Oh yeah, well, Elon, like, Elon like, Musk oh, yeah, likes well, to be Elon supportive Elon of other humans because be it makes people think that he is a human being instead of a power-hungry, greedy, rich But Bezos was trying to like invalidate that it was space. Oh yeah, no, it's it's just giant billionaire dick measuring. Is is literally all this is. Yeah, all this and it's thing. yeah, <laughs> and it's so. The wild part of this so, is like so. The wild part of this is like so. Uh, Bezos says that like uh, you know it didn't even line. pass the Carman line, which is the beginning of space. First of all, there is no there is universally no defined edge of space. Universally defined yeah. edge of space at all, and even the 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 Carman line, which is what he. Is that why they sent a car into space at one time? Because of the Carmen no, line? No. No. Uh, he did it because uh, he was uh, he did it because Elon Musk and he makes cars. Elon Musk and he makes cars. Also because he's a dumbass and didn't do yes. anything to uh, yes. you know, take bacteria yes. off of it. Uh, uh, so... So... There, the, there's the the troposphere there, there's the, the is troposphere from six to twenty kilometers, and it's where everything we do is. There's the stratosphere, which is up to fifty kilometers, and that's where like there's enough air that like weather balloons can be. Uh, I mean UFOs. Sorry. Uh, they're not called UFOs anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, what's the new term? I forgot it. It's what's like. U UFAs or something like that. Uh, it, it's got an aircraft. Uh, it's, an object or something. it's either that or like aircraft or something like that. But, but the fact that the F stands for flying means it's already. I, I don't actually think it's got an F. I don't remember what it is anymore. UAP. UAP? Maybe that's it. Unidentified aerial phenomena. Unidentified yeah, aerial that's it. Phenomena. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> uh, then up above the stratosphere uh, is the mesosphere, the up stratosphere to 85 kilometers, and that's where med so. yeah, mm, time. tasty. Uh, meteors uh, burn uh, through meteors, uh, the atmosphere uh, there and usually disappear. Yeah. Uh, and it's also close enough to like, if they're going uh, really fast, they could just like, if go really through the fast, mesosphere and keep going, go through the mesosphere instead of getting keep going, stuck and coming down to us. And then, above 85 kilometers is the thermosphere. And... The thermosphere... The thermosphere is where there's like, no longer heat from the... The Earth, like the Earth, can't hold anymore. Like, oh, hold heat at that keep point. your coffee cold. And that's where the ISS is. And that's where the Aurora happen. Is. That's where um, Aurora happen. And um, again, and 85 kilometers again, and above is the thermosphere, and above which is thermosphere. space. Which is, yeah. But a hundred kilometers. But a hundred kilometers. 
uh, kilometers. Okay, let's 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 be specific because the exosphere is beyond that. But uh, the thermosphere is between 85 kilometers and 690 kilometers. That entire stretch is the thermosphere. But arbitrarily, the 100 kilometer mark is the Kármán line, and that's where space begins, according to Bezos. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um. Let's see. Uh, uh, the U.S. Armed see. Forces defines uh, an astronaut as someone who has flown higher than 80 kilometers, higher than which 80 kilometers. is even part of the mesosphere. Is even part of the mesosphere. Um, <laughs> um, uh, the, oh, John's echoing apparently. Uh, the... Oh, is he? That's what Pierre says. Yeah. Pierre says. Maybe Pierre's echoing. It's not on my end. It, wildly. It's probably just it, the echo from probably Kristen. just the echo from Kristen. And that's not gonna get fixed until and I kick her out of this room. Not gonna get fixed until I kick ah. her out of this room. Oh, Kristen. Or yeah, or you mute your mic. Yeah, see, or, yeah, when, I, I when, when I, see, yeah, when when, when, when she I, mutes her mic, I yeah, when, can when not be echoed. Can and can Pierre can echoed. confirm and that. Pierre can or not confirm that. But now I can't hear Kristen. You should you should unmute your mic now. Then you'll be echoing. You'll oh be well. Because you're oh well. I'm not I echoing. guess. I guess. I, it's also partly because this is all like in front of me very hard stuff and yeah, very sound bounces stuff. because I don't have sound dampening behind my desk because we're lazy. Also, still completely wild news. I, uh, Steam Council? I have soft things. Handheld thing. The Steam Deck. The Steam yeah, Deck. To, like, hey, it's the Switch, but for Steam, uh, but like, I, do, Honestly, I don't know. The best version of this Honestly, I've seen, and and maybe Steam can pull it off, but the um, it's the Xbox. What is, what is their thing that they? What is their thing that they? Xbox. It's not live. Xbox, what is the? Xbox dead. Xbox zombie. Xbox zombie. The Gabe boy. The Gabe oh gosh. yeah, the Gabe boy. Someone. Oh. Yeah, I saw that and I was just like, oh god, I they should have. Yeah, the Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, the Xbox Game um, Pass. Um, is that like there's a there's yeah you could like you could do it handheld on like your phone. Never knew that. Um, yeah, there's the Xbox Game Pass yeah, controller, Xbox and it's it's like a a stretching thing like that you like. You pull it apart and then it connects to your to either side of your phone, and then if you're on Wi-Fi, you can play just whatever games that are that you have a on on um, Xbox, uh, as well as all the X Game Pass games because I mean you're using the Game Pass thing, assuming you're paying for that, and Game Pass is actually a really good. Um, really good. Uh, way to get lots of games. Yeah, but not you, PlayStation. Yeah. You make crap but games. You, you make crap but games. Like, not, but not actually. Not actually. I don't. I just don't play any PlayStation games. PlayStation stopped being good when they stopped making Spyro games and. Um, What's the other one? Spyro 2? Uh, Ratchet and Clank? Crash uh, Bandicoot? I actually haven't played Ratchet and Clank, but yeah, I was thinking Crash Bandicoot. Ratchet and Clank games were actually pretty fun. That's what I've heard, I just... I and uh, Jack and Dexter, too. Just... Never got around to either of those. Never got around to either of those. Yeah. 
weird luck, like, like, weird luck, like, I, I probably won't get it. I, I probably won't get it. The, yeah. the Steam handheld. The Steam handheld. The Steam deck. The Steam deck. I just, like, I, I don't know when I would ever use it. Like, I would just use my computer. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, it's, it's yeah, nice to, yeah, I guess, like, it's, it's to nice be sitting. To, Somewhere else, somewhere and, else, and play like and using a and controller that you're not like that you usually don't use for those games. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I. Ugh. And having a a system that that doesn't run the game nearly as well. Yeah, that's the thing I'd be interested in yeah, seeing is if it if it works if it can work like the uh, the old Steam Box did. Where it's kind of just yeah. um, Chromecast for your games. Chromecast for your games. You just stream it from your stream it from your computer to the the Steam Deck. Because they've they've actually gotten like game streaming latency down really really well. Um, but. Yeah, I. Yeah, I. I probably wouldn't get it. Like the, I probably wouldn't get it. Like the, the the stream deck is the, the stream deck is Steam Deck. Yeah, this is this is a problem because yeah, is, I looked yeah, up Steam, Steam Deck, deck and everything is is showing deck, the Elgato Stream and Deck. Everything is, is showing the Elgato yeah. Stream Deck. And <laughs> I love there's a I scroll down I and there's a a tweet from someone where it's a they it took a Elgato stream deck and then taped to um oh, emotes did. to it. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was. Uh, to, that looks like. Or, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Joy Cons. Yeah, sorry. They yeah, they Joy -Cons. taped two Joy Cons to it and they're like, yeah. yeah. Now I've got a Steam yeah. Deck. Now I've got a. Steam oh, I think deck. they also like. Scratched out, the R. Also, like, scratched out the R. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gate Boy is is easier to discern, but um, pretty sure they they get sued by Nintendo. Pretty sure they they get sued by Nintendo. Since Game Boy is a registered trademark for a handheld gaming device. I think changing one letter and everything else is exactly the same. Probably can't, can't get away with that. Probably can't, can't get away well, with that's because you gotta like you wouldn't use the Game Boy original for that because it's, it's way more advanced than that anyway. So it'd be the the, the Game Boy. Uh, hmm, what's a what's a synonym for advanced? <laughs> Game Boy Plus. Game Boy Plus. <laughs> oh, what if what if Boy they Boy. like made it so what that it was like, like made two it so that it was screens. Like, and they called it the the they they called it Game the Boy, Boy TS. They two Game screen. Boy. Two screen. <laughs> two screen. <laughs> uh, uh. What are you shooting? Uh, when Blake Cannon. Okay. Is this a map you've already played? Map or is this uh, no, I, I think once we finish the campaign, it unlocks more of these types of missions. Yeah, I just I hadn't seen yeah, you I fighting just, Ganon like this. So wait, didn't you I win? Remember... Didn't you kill Ganon? Did you kill Ganon? John, since when does killing Ganon ever mean Ganon stops showing up? <laughs> Fair. It's true, he, it usually stops him from showing up in that game. Scratch space dick measuring scratch. off of my list of topics.
what I wrote. Bezos with his weird stupids. I thought you were gonna say knees for some reason. I thought you were gonna say knees for some reason. <laughs> that is the meme. So, so, uh, we just uh, got back from vacation, and by just got, got back, back I mean like vacation. two weeks we ago. Like but uh, yeah. But, uh, but we didn't do party patrol last week, so we this is still on my list from so then. This is still on my list from then. Uh, <laughs> it was it was fun. Um, it was there were um, there were there were lots of bars in the place that we went. Um, it's kind of ridiculous because it's, kind of it's a city. city. I wonder. I wonder what the actual wonder, like population the actual, like, of Savannah population. is. Because it's real small. It's, mm -hmm. real small. it's real small, but like also weirdly well known and like is a vacation spot. Yeah, I mean, because it was practically the capital yeah, of Georgia for. The a while. Actually, what was the original capital of Georgia? What was the original capital? I'm gonna look this up, and it's gonna tell me like some some weird Russian thing. Uh, I don't think so. Savannah. Savannah was the first capital of Georgia. Savannah was the first capital. Followed by Augusta. Followed by Augusta. Louisville, and. Milledgeville. Oh wait, that's Weird. right. I forgot Milledgeville was the capital for a bit. Weird. That's where my wife went to college. Is in Milledgeville. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Huh. I remember going the down there. The only reason I've ever been to Milledgeville. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh. I mean, downtown is literally one street, so there's not really many other reasons to go. So yeah, apparently it's a it's got a population yeah, of 145,000, which 145, seems like twice as much as like twice as much as there seems down there. Like it feels very small. It's a very small city. It's a very um, small city. Um, and for being a very small city, there is a, a very small city, pub is on a pretty pub much literally every single literally street corner. Every and if there's one, there's there's usually one, two or there's, three. There's on or three. every single on street every corner. Single street corner. Uh, I feel like that's fairly common for small cities though. Because like if you're gonna open up a small business, you know which one can't fail, one that serves alcohol. Yeah, kinda true. Yeah. Uh another thing that there's weirdly a lot of uh, another thing that there's honey places. Yeah. Honey places. Uh yeah. I feel like it's because they just have like that one company based there, and then just like, now we have this here, so we're better to have multiple shops selling honey. Yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, there's. How, how many. How many. I'm trying to think. How, how, like, like, how many blocks do you think? How many blocks do you think? No. Uh, Damn hey, it, he doesn't ping either. Nobody listen. What Nobody the listen. fuck? I was hurt to get home. I didn't get check, okay? Check, okay? What happened? Where, where what the hell happened though? Where, like this is it worked. Oh, I know what I have to do. No. Shit, I know what I have to do. Well not on camera. I do what I want. There's a specific group. I do what I want. What I want. <laughs> I just need yes, that helped. You never know. Someone might take the, you know, you know their headset in there with them. I would still rather him do that than just shit on camera. Working on those both. I mean, John, you're supposed to go to the the OnlyFans account for that. You're streaming at the wrong spot. So there's like 50 blocks so like of, of in this city, blocks. and there's and. Five 
uh, honey places that uh, we saw. Honey places that we saw. And in addition, there's three in addition, from, the there's three company from the same company within, yeah. within three minutes walk, three minutes walk <laughs> of each other. Of each other. I. I don't get. I mean, I liked it. I guess, like I I'm like pretty honey. sure they just. Like, there fun. is a honey company there, so like it, somehow they became known for it. Yeah. Yeah. Weird thing to be known for. Specifically when you used to be the capital of the state. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a nickel for every honey company, for every, every store honey from, from the same honey company in this city, I would have three nickels. I would have which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened three times. It's weird that it happened three times. Apparently, there's a lot of them, though. Like, because they're they're spread out as well. I just looked up the company, and it's there's one in Arizona, Connecticut, Colorado, Connecticut, Colorado, Florida. Yep, there's three in Savannah, and then three one in, in St. Simons, and one in Atlanta. I think my wife and I saw one when we went to Disney for our honeymoon, like in the, uh, like, Disney Springs area. Uh, there's I one think. in Lake Buena Vista, uh, Florida. Lake Buena Vista, Florida. <laughs> that could be anywhere. Yeah, I agreed. Yeah. I try not to know where places are in, uh... I try not to know where places are Yeah, same. In, uh, I try not to be in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, yeah. Tim showed up. Hey, look, uh, Tim showed up. You missed oh, the space stick measuring, uh, space stick measuring section uh, of the, the podcast. Of the you did. Podcast. You did. I he wasn't there, but I don't know if he misses it. <laughs> hey, Tim, how do you feel about the Carmen line? Hey, Tim, how do you feel about the Carmen line? Um, I don't really have any strong um, opinions really on it. Strong okay, opinions. but where in the world is the Carmen line? <laughs> Definitely not San Diego. Definitely not San Diego. Oh, that was gonna be my first guess. <laughs> that was gonna be my first guess. <laughs> I know the name. I don't I remember name, where it is or what it is. For that matter. It's it's the arbitrarily it's determined. Slightly outside of the world. world. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. right, yeah. Oh, it's the yeah. arbitrarily determined yeah. edge of space that is accepted by about half the peoples. Maybe it's really okay. arbitrary. It's really arbitrary. Now I remember. Um, now I and remember. yeah, it's um, just a source of yeah, stupid drama. Of yeah. Stupid so drama. has anyone explained has how the thing works yet? Explained how the yes. thing works yet? Yeah. Yes. Why yeah. some people think it's eighty and why, why some people some think it's um hundred. Um hundred. I don't think John mentioned anything specifically about why people think it's one versus the other. They're both in the same range. Yeah. So 80 versus 100 so is the source of, you know, all the drama of, between you know, um, drama those between, two billionaires. Um, those two billionaires. Because, of course, one is going to go because higher, and so his is, be higher, of course, so his is better, of course, better because his was actually space. Yes. And uh, the his, other was his, not. His okay. dick is bigger. I thought you had, like, a... a piece of information that meant people wanted one versus the other, rather than mine will go to that one, therefore it matters. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's all there is to yeah. it. No, and the reason the, the numbers yes, are different is because when they were calculated, 80 were calculated, was basically the actual number. Basically the actual and then at number. some point, a... Um, a convention a, of scientists uh, came in after that guy and decided, you know what, nothing is really ever going to really depend on this, so we're just going to round it up to 100 for easy math. But it, it doesn't even make sense because, it, like, 80 sense is still in the mesosphere. Like, 80 is still in the mesosphere. <laughs> and, and the the 100 is, is a the, completely the different, is, is a that's the different thermosphere. That's the it's like, thermosphere. Like, Why not pick the edge of the mesosphere? Why not? Why not? That sounds like a good point. That sounds like a good point. I'm sure that no, line's not. also arbitrarily sure determined. That line's also arbitrarily but... determined. But oh, so 100 isn't the edge oh, so of the mesosphere? Is no, 85 is the edge of the mesosphere. No, 80, 80 is, is the edge of the a point inside, uh, and it's the one that the U.S. government the uses for determining the edge of space. And 100 is. And Really, just a a round number they decided to pick. Round number they decided to pick. Yeah. 
Because so did his even get to the thermosphere? No, no, no. His, no, his didn't, no, didn't even get no, to that no, thermosphere. His, his didn't, didn't even get yeah, to was there any okay. spatial penetration or no? <laughs> I mean, I guess does like I heavy mean, petting count? Because that's kind of what like they heavy did. Heavy petting count? Because that's kind of what they did. I don't think <laughs> heavy petting counts as penetration. I'm not an expert, but I'm pretty sure those are generally considered. I mean, maybe for Virgin Airlines, it's the same thing. <laughs> That's who we're talking about. That's who we're talking <coughs> about. Okay, so the Carmen line was originally so placed where it is because based on the calculations of the day, you know, in the, um, I think it would have been the 50s probably, um, they figured that that was where, generally speaking, generally speaking, um, Astronautics, uh, or astronautics, yeah, astronautics would yeah, astronautics decide how would something would flies more than aeronautics. So at that point, if you're so still going up, it's less you're because your up, wings are providing lift and more because you just have really good propulsion. Really good propulsion. Arbitrary line. Yeah, it was arbitrary based on. It was arbitrary based on. Yeah, based on the X2 rocket yeah, plane, which, X2 if rocket. memory serves, didn't really have memory much in the way of wings really in the first place, so it wasn't getting much lift <laughs> anyway. It wasn't getting much lift anyway. <laughs> okay, more wing than I thought, but still not much. More wing than I thought, but still not much. See, it's weird. When I look at the X2, I just <laughs> find a crappy <laughs> movie. X2, I just find a crappy movie. Was that X-Men 2? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that was good. It has a, a the cool bird Say in it. one thing that happens in it. Say Tell me one, one thing. thing. That happens in it. Uh, here's the thing. I only ever watched them like once, and that was like on accident. Like, I, on if you had watched it a hundred times, I would have the same chance of getting times, one thing interesting out of it. Uh, is that the oh, one yeah. where oh, Captain Picard shows up? Oh, Captain Picard shows up. Nope, that's all of them. Nope. Uh, all of them. Is that the one where? Storm kills Toad, and by saying, "Do you know what happens when a Toad gets struck by lightning?" That's the first one. Damn it! Because that's the funniest line of any of any movie. Just and you what said it had to be unique. You said it had to be interesting. Would get struck by lightning. Same thing that happens to anything else. And you're just like, got him. I guess. Uh, uh. Let's see. Was that the one with uh, so that Angel? The one with uh, Angel. The kid with the wings. No, that's the three. Wings? No, that's. Three. Yeah, three is the one where yeah, the they one go where to vaccinate them all and go to vaccinate them all turn them into not turn them into not X Men. They X -Men. think they can cure they us. Think they can cure us. And then they they go and. and they, Good quote, Tim. You got the whole thing, probably. What's her name? Uh. What's her name? Ro uh, uh, no, not Rogue. Ro uh, not Rogue. I don't remember people. These are shitty movies. Jean Grey. Jean Grey goes in and goes ah. crazy and, goes and goes rips crazy. Logan apart. But rips Logan apart. But not because he I mean the fact that Magneto himself. hasn't ripped Logan apart at any given moment speaks a lot to his restraint. <laughs> he's specifically built to be able to rip Logan apart at any point in his life when he wants to, even if he's not in front of him. I think yeah. he could do it from his vacation home if yeah. he wanted. He, yeah, he just but... doesn't it's so <laughs> kind. <laughs> Wolverine can just put himself back together Wolverine and just, just put yeah, himself back together but half die okay, again. Question. Wait, if die Wolverine again. puts himself back together, does the metal come with him? I, the great question. I think it does, actually. I think yeah, it does, actually. Question. Actually, I think it does. Actually, and why? It, it, it does. doesn't make sense, but I think it does. It doesn't make sense, but I think it does. But it's not... How is that written into his DNA now? Because X-Factor. Because X Factor. That's a dumb answer. So, anyways, uh, so anyways, had uh, had fun on our vacation. Had, uh, had probably vacation. the uh, probably the most enjoyable the thing we did was we did a ghost hunt did, or not a ghost hunt, a, a ghost walk. Yes, that was also a pub crawl. Yes, uh, that was also because. A pub crawl. Again, uh, so, so basically, you were gonna get spirits one way or the other. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. 
Um, and the the guy who who and ran it was like who really good, and, like and he knew all the stories. He's really lived there for most of his life, and and knew all the stories, and also laughed at them too because laughed at them too because they're ghost stories. Um, yeah. And um. And um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And told jokes the whole way through like really funny guy but the thing that killed me was we were with three other people small group like it was one group of three and then the two of us and the the guy running it uh so you know we're all together and telling jokes this whole time and then one of the guys and then one of the guys from the other group tells a joke and it was the the guy running it had just told a story about how like you know Miley Cyrus was there and, and you know she must have been haunted because she went in there as um, Hannah Montana and then she she left uh, as My yeah, Miley Cyrus because she made Wrecking Ball there like not in that building but in Savannah or in that area so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, it has to be a ghost. Yeah, and sev yeah, several and other stories of just meeting famous people because meeting, you know famous, a, a lot of people go there. The, the, the um, Leopold's ice cream uh, that's Leopold's there. Cream, uh, Leopold that's is there. a famous uh, producer is a of famous movies, producer. so he has people come by his ice cream shop pretty regularly, and it's like covered with pictures of him with. Oh. Well, name seven movies he produced. Okay. Okay. Uh, Go one, on. second. <laughs> type, type, type. one second. One second. One second. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, Mission the Impossible Adventures 3. Uh, the Wolfman, uh, starring Benicio the del Toro. Man, Benicio del yeah, I was gonna say, I bet I won't recognize any of these, but like, it it feels like cheating that you said Mission Impossible Three, but uh, also like, uh, dang, who's that who's just that one. Dang. Production manager for the production new Star Trek movie. Uh, movie. Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek. From when? The, the, the number eleven. The number 11? 2009. Oh, yeah. The new movie from 2009. Well, yeah, I just... I call that one 11. New Star Trek. New Star Trek. Um, Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, so back when the Marvel movies were good. Wow. Hot take. Wow. Not really. <laughs> no, not really. No. Freezing cold take, to be honest. Uh, Tango and Cash. I feel like I've uh, accomplished like I've, uh, what you asked. So I, I literally recognize one of those. But why are we like, talking about the Star Trek? Trek? Uh, so like, anyways, lots of lots uh, of famous so, people like, go anyways, there. Lots of, lots uh, of and, and there. this guy was talking uh, about, you know, this guy was talking you know, about meeting them, bumping into them on the street and stuff. And um, uh, the one of the guys we were with tells this the, story, which we stop me when you hear the part where you've read it online. Um, what does everyone sit, clap? Uh, sitting at a bar, and uh, someone bar reaches over and, and grabs my drink and starts drinking it. And I look, and it was um, who's the guy? Uh, it was Tom Hanks. And I, and I was like, "What, Tom Hanks?" And he said, "Shh, no one will ever believe you." I'm pretty sure that's a uh, Bill Murray move. Maybe that's who it was. Maybe that's who it was. But I've seen yeah, that, that a lot more like Bill Murray. I've seen, I've that, seen that like thirty-seven yeah. times on the internet, as, like, and it was almost word for word the thing that I've read. That I've read. Don't steal other people's jokes. Like, <laughs> like it, it, you can you can say it as a yeah. I read somewhere about this happening. And this wasn't the tour guide. This was the other guy. Yeah, and that's fine. Like the, the yeah, saying like I read this somewhere. Tell the joke. Like, I read that's somewhere, still funny. Tell the joke. That's yeah. still funny. It, it doesn't have to be original or specific. Like you don't have to pretend like you were funny because someone did a th like 
even if it did happen to you, you're not the funny one. Bill Murray's no. still the funny one. <laughs> yeah. Or, Maybe Bill Murray oh, yeah. just does this Maybe a Bill lot Murray and never pays for his own drinks. And never pays for his own drinks. Possible. Why would you need to? Unlikely. 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 Unlikely that it would happen to. Unlikely that it would happen to. This this person. This this person. Uh, Specifically, yeah. or just like in, in general, uh, this many people. Just in I like general. Like, oh yeah, this dude never would meet Bill Murray. The, 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 the odds. Would never meet Bill Murray. The, the the odds of me meeting someone who this has happened to are extremely low. Are extremely low. Yeah, I, I that happened. I was like, yeah, oh, I, come on, don't happened, be a joke stealer. I, like, <laughs> I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't call him out on it. I, I didn't call him out on but it. But you should have told. Just, you should have actually but, stopped him and been just, like, or like, as soon as after, like, oh, that's great. I actually had something similar happen to me one time, and then tell the exact same story <laughs> with literally <laughs> no change. In I mean, like, any of it. there is I mean, a like, minute chance a, that minute he's minute the one who posted this on the internet. It's true. It's like one in six point eight billion. It's like one in what? six point eight billion. <laughs> yeah. but odds are, odds are, it's not him. It's not him. Celebrity like encounters do happen. Encounters I ran into uh, Matthew, Matthew McConaughey into, uh, once, actually. Matthew McConaughey um, once, actually. Yeah, we were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, when was the last time you've seen Matthew McConaughey? What was the last time you've seen Matthew McConaughey? Just steamrolled over. Kept going. Just steamrolled over. Kept going. Matthew McConaughey yeah, has I never Matthew seen. McConaughey once. <laughs> didn't know for a week. <laughs> never seen or heard from again. Never seen or heard from again. Yeah, we were both at, um, I think yeah, it was we the Korean at, uh, War Memorial in D.C. Korean at the same War time. Memorial. Yeah. Yeah. We were just there at the same time. Yeah. I, we I don't think we were ever even within, you know, 100 feet of each other. Yo, I can tell you, out. he was not all right, all right, all right after that. All right, all right, all right after that. <laughs> that sounds yeah, like a no, quote from something he might have been in, but yeah, I don't know for sure. Um, just name any movie that he's been um, in. Just name any. Uh, movie Sahara. That he's been in. Yep, it's in there. Cool. Yep. I don't know any other movies that he's been in. <laughs> Same. That's the only I movie know I know. Color. And I, I, I watched it because I read the book first, I, I watched and it, it was a good the, book, oh, and I, I watched never, the movie, and it was okay. It was a good book, and I, the I never movie, and read okay. the book, I just watched it for some reason. I was like, oh, okay, I guess coins are important to this guy. <laughs> nope. Not in the book. <laughs> nope. Wyatt Cussler and Tom Clancy. <laughs> there have been a lot of movies made of their books. None of them ever tie into each other at all, ever. Name another movie for Clive Cussler. I'm pretty sure I've seen another Dirk Pitt sure floating around, but I can't there... remember which one. A what? There's, There's a Raise the Titanic There's film. There's a Raise the Titanic film. Dang. What is Raise the Titanic? It, it was one of the first uh, few uh, books produced or uh, written by uh, Clive Cussler, and uh, wow, it had Sir Alec Wait, Guinness wow. in the movie. It had Sir Alec Wait, Guinness question? in the movie. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, raised with yeah. a Z or an S? S. <laughs> S. <laughs> Good question, though. Good yeah. question, though. So I, I feel think, like I should have asked this before, so but why, like is before. why is that one dish oh, pixelated? Why is that one dish pixelated? Oh, uh, because it's what happens when you, like, mess up food. So it's censored. Ah, oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Raise the Titanic is a book yeah, where, the uh, they a book have to go down and, and bring the, the Titanic, the Titanic back to the surface and reclaim it because there's a safe on board that no it doesn't have someone's famous um, necklace in it it has unobtainium that they can use to make a force field across the entirety of the United States and protect it from uh, all dangers uh, all dangers but it couldn't protect the Titanic from one danger <laughs> No, 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 no. They, they, they have the technology that uses it, but like, that, that, I mean, they can't like, put that on a ship. That, that, I mean, so they, they were bringing the, 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 so the crystal the, the, the to uh, the U.S. To, so that they could put the uh, missile defense system in. Um, a really um, stupid book uh, premise. Yeah, that sounds like one of the wildest. Especially since 
Um, so it's like the third or fourth book um, in the, the like series, the the and then they go on to do like 30 more, and it's never mentioned again, and like missiles are a problem again, so like... Like, but they do they succeed. Oh yeah, no, they succeed. They've they've got the oh, unobtainium yeah, no, so that they can, they've got the you know, be fine. But no, be fine. They, but no. I guess Clive Custer just went. Yeah, that was that was a crap went, idea. Yeah, We're just gonna pretend was, that never that happened. Which, I can't argue. Happened. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was <laughs> correct. Disintegrate them? No, let's pretend we never said that. No, he jumps the shark and then forgets how to jump. Shark and then forgets how to jump. He does the shark, and then realizes the shark was the friends he made along the way. It was never an actual shark. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Like, yeah, no, the, I, I get it. the running into people the, and, the and running into people knowing like, celebrities and no there. What is it? The seven degrees or six degrees of separation? I, I sure. learned I the other six day. Six degrees of separation I, I for most people. For anyone who has been in any movie ever, in any movie it's three ever. degrees from Kevin Bacon. It's three degrees yeah. from Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, one degree I'm of separation from Jeremy one Renner. One degree of separation from Jeremy Renner. Did you meet J Jeremy Renner? No. Uh, I I think it's no, like one degree uh, is the person I, I think in it's between, like one right? Or, or would it yeah. be two degrees? Yeah, so one degree. Yeah. No, that, uh, that would be the first degree. Yeah. So one degree. I, I know uh, someone who's dating I, Jeremy I know Renner. Someone who's dating I, they're, they're a family Renner. friend, and they're just I dating they're Jeremy Renner now. Dating Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. Yeah. Who's Jeremy Renner? Uh, okay. You don't know him from his uh, uh, mobile his, app? His, the Jeremy uh, Renner official app for Android and iOS? For Android and iOS? Tim, who's Jeremy Renner? Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne. Also not true. That was Matt Damon. What are you talking about? Ask, ask one more time. Ask one more time. Ask, ask one more time. Can someone ask fucking tell me who Jeremy Renner is. No, no. I know the name. The guy from Mission Impossible. The guy from Mission Impossible. Incorrect. <laughs> All of these are true though. Uh, so he's he's Hawkeye, the guy with the bow in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which doesn't matter. Which is why when Tim said it and you asked who, I thought it was fitting. Uh, he was I also in Mission uh, Impossible. He, he was the Mission man Impossible. who was supposed to take over for, um, uh, Tom Cruise. Because Tom Cruise was quitting Mission Impossible. He was done. He was going to retire. And then Jeremy Renner was in the, uh, Ghost Protocol alongside him as, like, the guy being, being moved into position as the new head of the team. And Tom Cruise... I tell you I've never seen any of these movies, Tom, Tom Cruise went, like, halfway through the movie and was like, nah, change it. I, I can't leave this to him. Uh, same thing happened in The Bourne Legacy. Um, Jeremy Renner was the new... Not Jason Bourne, but, like, the new Bourne-like character. Uh, same like member of like member of the same team. Of, like, I think he was Jason Bourne. Stuff. It was a prequel. I think he was Jason Bourne. And, they couldn't, and they couldn't get Matt Damon back. And they couldn't get Matt Damon back. No, uh, it's uh, Black no, Ops agent uh, Aaron it's, Cross. Uh, Black Ops agent Aaron Cross, played mm. by Jeremy Renner. Mm. Played by Jeremy. Jason Bourne does not appear in the Bourne Legacy. Jason Bourne does not appear. It'd be great if he just also played Jason Bourne in the same like series. <laughs> uh, like how, yeah. uh, like how, uh, Michael Dorn played a Klingon in like an episode of one of the Star Treks, but that was like the or, I think series. it was that movie. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he played a Klingon yeah, in um, in uh, movie five, five? Final, six? Frontier. Movie six. Final Frontier, Eight, six, Final Frontier, Final Frontier. The yeah, one where Kurt goes to jail. The one and then later, it has a uh, he plays lawyer. a, a well-known Klingon. <laughs> yeah. I think he actually played yeah, Worf actually first, played and, then Worf and then they just brought him back in for that cameo. That's incredibly hilarious that they didn't even put, like, a, like they didn't even give him, like, why, why another Klingon? He already is a Klingon that everybody knows. Yeah. He has one line in the movie. It's barely a cameo. Movie. It's barely a cameo. Sorry, two lines. He has two Sorry, lines. Two lines. He has two yeah. lines. So, yeah, Jeremy Renner so, is the the guy who Jeremy plays Renner characters that the, the uh, either characters are supposed to take over for other characters and then don't because Jeremy Renner's bad, or uh, he plays Hawkeye, which nobody gives a shit about. Because I mean, like when I <laughs> when I watched Avengers, I guess I think 
I was like, oh, Hawkeye seems like the only person in the team I might actually give a shit about. And then they were like, we're gonna sideline him because we think everyone gives a shit about the heroes that suck. I mean, I like the bow using I mean, I like character trope. Like, side character trope. Like, like the Green Arrow is a pretty cool like, like, the green character, arrows are and, cool. you know, I, I they could do a whole lot with them, but I, they don't, they do so. Them, yeah. Don't. Like, they were just like, here's Hawkeye. He didn't have any intro movie beforehand. Um, first thing you know about him, uh, he gets mind controlled. And he was like, oh, okay, he's one of these characters. No, no, tech, he tech, in no he's, he's in Thor. He's he's character who fails to stop he's Thor from grabbing the hammer. No, he, doesn't, okay. he doesn't even try to stop Thor from grabbing, grabbing the hammer. At one point he has to tell Coulson, yeah, you, you need to tell me to shoot this guy soon, because I'm starting to root for him. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. But I mean, it's I, sort of like how Black Widow one time I, was in a movie, and that's how you were supposed to know who that was. Except yeah, she was that an movie, Iron Man too. Yeah, but here's the thing. When you watched Thor, you learned about Thor, and he was also there. When you watched Iron Man 2, you were like, Oh, this is a really extended commercial for Black Widow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With much less Black Widow than much less it needed Widow to be a... Yeah. To be a... Instead, you got <sighs> War Machine, who people were supposed to care about? Yeah. No, no, Iron Patriot. No, no, Iron Patriot. Oh yeah, excuse me for messing up the names of two characters that look and are basically exactly the same. <laughs> yep. Nah. Yeah. Iron Patriot is supposed to be a really Iron stupid Patriot name that they really just, no one liked it, it, they just, it, no one liked it, but it sounded American, so they gave it to him. Um, but yeah, uh, Jeremy Renner is also known for the Jeremy Renner official mobile app, which is a, uh, <laughs> it's a social media where Jeremy Renner is the only where one is the who, only like, one. He, anyone, anyone like, can pay to join anyone, anyone the Jeremy Renner app, Jeremy but Renner Jeremy Renner is the only one that can post, Jeremy and everyone is automatically friends with him, and you can't be friends with anyone else. So it's, it's like if MySpace was what it, like, could and should have been with Tom. Yes. But no one else can post. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What it yeah, should have been. You can you can comment yeah, on can, Jeremy Renner's posts, and you can like and you can make little like, conversations in the comments. Make little but conversations in the Jeremy comments, Renner's the only one that can post. Jeremy Renner's the only and, one. Oh, this is hilarious and brilliant. And, oh, and I think to in order to like to, comment more than once or something, like, or to, like or it's it's chock full like, of um. It's chock full of uh. Microtransactions? Uh, microtransactions. <laughs> microtransactions. Which... That's very funny. Yeah. yeah. I could tell immediately that I was gonna I hate where this is going when, when it started with, going, this, is started with this, is this is a social media with microtransactions. With Honestly, microtransactions. I, I think I have to give him credit for coming up with something that, like, if you had not told me who made it or obviously said the name out loud, I would have assumed it was made by, like, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's definitely a, uh, a, yeah, a no, Musk sort of thing a, to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, because that's, I think, how Musk thinks Twitter works, is that people on it are specifically there to, like, tell him his posts are really cool. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, and that's, uh... And also for to, like... But yeah, that's, uh... Like, like, commit I, I just hate fiscal it. fraud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that and, like, when he says, like, shitty, and she's like, Elon, this isn't your heart. You're better than this. And you're like, can you guys fight not... In public. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you fighting three black Lionels at once? Uh, no. There's a Moblin in the group, I think. So you think? Can you guys fight not in public? Am I the only one who feels that way about just social media? People who are together tagging each other in literally everything. Uh. Like, I see people who. Live with their boyfriend or girlfriend, or are married and live together, and they're just like 20 things that they post. They're all adding that person. Like, can you not just hand them your phone? Yeah. I just. You're like, hey, look at this thing I found. Like, hey, look at this like, thing I found. We do. See, that's not an issue for me because I just mute or unfollow those people. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. 
But uh, I'm still not yet decided whether I'm going to delete Facebook yet, so. I haven't deleted it, but I also I haven't, haven't deleted, opened it haven't except opened maybe opened two or three times this year. I mean, I usually have it open, but I don't scroll through my feed or anything. I use it to talk to my wife, and that's it. That is what Facebook is. I think the last thing I posted on Facebook was that I got married. Probably same, actually. Let's see. I, I try and post a little bit more often. I know we posted when we got loot three years ago. Yep. And you post your yep. food stuff. And you post your food Occasionally, yeah. Oh, I posted post when I got... Oh, I posted when I got... <laughs> I, I posted some... Uh, a Lego that I bought. Extra Life, uh, extra life was the last thing I posted. Extra Life was the last thing I posted. And it's probably going to be the next thing. And it's probably, probably. going to be the next thing. Maybe I should put some more cute pictures of Ludo. Yeah, I have a picture of Legos. Yeah, I have a picture, a picture of, of flowers and then food. A picture of flowers and then food. 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 Mushrooms. I was gonna say the yard mushrooms, mushrooms. are probably there. Yeah, and then extra life. Yeah, and then extra life. Six posts or seven posts since Six this posts time last year. Seven posts since this time last year. I refuse to be anything less than capable. Uh, Welcome to the new segment. John organizes his social media. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see. Let me get that in order so I can start doing that. Get that in order so I can start. So you can do your your better uh, segments like. Organize your Steam mobile, your, your Gabe Boy library. Gabe Boy? No. Yeah. Gabe Boy? No. Ugh. Ugh. Loot was uh. a very small puppy. With a very different shaped face. Very different shaped face. Oh! Hey Tim, did you ever watch oh, Super Ted? Hey Tim, did you ever watch <laughs> Super Ted? Nope. Thank God. If t I was about to say, if you say yes to this, I'm disowning you, maybe? I don't know. I haven't really thought it through, but it's certainly going to hurt. Someone. 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 What is Super Ted? What is Super that, Ted? See, that uh, was the wrong fucking question, Tim. Uh, <laughs> tell you what, Tim. When the stream posts, just go, just go back and watch the first five minutes. Ted. The conversation about Super Ted goes on much longer than that, but you'll get all you need in the first, like, five minutes. Ten. Super Ted is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to Magic Cloud, where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. That bear became Super Ted. It's a old it's a nineteen eighty three through eighty six uh, uh animated T V show. Garbage. T V show. Okay, so it's if Captain Planet okay, so had started on the Isle of Misfit had Toys. On the Isle of Misfit Toys. Maybe. Uh he doesn't it's care possible. as much about uh, care as much saving about saving uh the world from global warming. Because this is the 80s and global warming because didn't this exist is the yet. 80s and global warming didn't exist yet. <laughs> I mean, Captain Planet was like maybe mid 90s at latest. And it's just sad that there are now a lot of people in the world who don't know what we are mean by what, by your powers combined. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, um, I think wow. people who didn't um, want much to still know wow. it. Okay, no, I'm I'm looking at the new adventures okay. of Captain I'm, Planet. I'm looking at the new adventures. The new adventures of Captain Planet uh, aired Captain pretty Planet, much exactly uh, one year exactly or no ten years year after no, ten uh, years Super Ted did. After uh, Super Ted did. Ninety-three to ninety-six. 
Apparently, Captain Planet and the Planeteers started in 1990 and had LeVar Burton and Jeff Goldblum. I mean, uh, Super Ted had John Pertwee. Super Ted had John Pertwee. And also Victor Spinetti, voicing the devious mastermind bad guy, Texas Pete. Texas Pete. It's so close to just being Texas Red from, uh, Big Iron. You know, a song. It probably would have been better for it. I feel like we watched something recently. We watched something recently. Oh. Like, interesting, though. Interesting. I guess technically we're watching Enterprise. I guess technically we're what are y'all watching right now? What are y'all watching right now? Um... Well, I did watch... My wife and I were watching The Good Place, which I enjoyed very much, uh, and then the last three episodes felt like it very much undid a lot of what that show was about. Hmm. So I didn't watch the last episode. All right. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Very good show. Besides that. <laughs> right now I'm watching Demon Hunter. Right now I'm watching Demon I'll Hunter. Think <laughs> it's like wow. Just pacing. immediately called out. The thing that you're talking about. Is it real? I don't know why that's my go-to response for instead of <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's just I don't think that's real. I don't think that's real. Uh, well, I just told you what it is. It's well, bleach, but with better pacing. It it's bleach, but with better pacing. You take that back or something. I don't you know. Take that back. Watch bleach. Or something. Yeah, I don't know. Do people like bleach enough to defend it like that? Maybe. I mean, it gets things clean. Maybe. Too clean though. It can really destroy a lot of your your clothes if you aren't careful with it. I also eyes. I, I, I'll put it to you like this. Different with that, Dom. I'll put it to you like this. In bleach, from your insides in or bleach, something, and uh, in bleach, it takes bleach, I think takes a season and a half or two seasons season before the main character is actually trained properly for the thing that he spends the rest of the show doing. In Demon Hunter, it takes like in three Demon episodes, Hunter, it takes maybe like four. Three episodes, maybe four. So, what about Demon Hunter? Is like Bleach? Um, do they do their uh, bonkai or whatever it's called? <laughs> their hentai move? I don't know. <laughs> the main character, uh, his main character, family was killed uh, by demons, and his sister was and turned into a demon. So his life's goal has to become so to, has to be kill all demons, which kill are former demons humans that have just been corrupted, just and, been corrupted and find some way to heal his sister. Oh, so wait, and he has a special sword her? to do it. Oh, yeah. Is this the one where everything is, is this water? The one where everything yes, is water? and the one with the, um, you know, just the, one with the a guy with a pig head for no apparent reason. Pig head for no apparent reason. Okay, you lost me there. Wait, Demon Hunter? I thought it was Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer, you're right. Demon oh, Slayer, you're right. cool. I, I suddenly understand this a lot more. Same. So. So, the, the show is about, I need to kill all demons except for my sister, I'll save that one, but the other ones aren't worth it? The other ones are also trying to kill him, the and his sister is trying to kill him. Well, sister... then I don't think she's quite the same kind of demon, huh? I mean, I think she is, it's just I mean, that I think she her is. mouth is currently that... occupied her with bamboo for occupied. some reason, and so she bamboo can't do it. Reason, it's a very weird it. anime. Yeah, I know she can run well, very fast, and I've seen memes about well, it. For some reason, she doesn't actually reason, have, you know, the bloodlust that demons have and the, you know, the bi biological yeah, the need bi to biological eat humans need in order to survive. To she doesn't have that. Survive. They've given an explanation for They've it in the show, but given it's this early in the show, I'm pretty sure it's BS. I can't wait for it to not be. Like, they just don't actually give you a better one ever. You're just like, oh. Actually, I, w I hope they've, that they take the better ones, and then those get disproven and it's still the first one. 
they feel like hinted that, was, that there is another reason, but, another the, reason, reason for now is but the reason for now someone is someone hypnotized her when she was asleep, and she now thinks that all humans are her family. Oh, well, then we should just do that more. Don't worry, Tim. You'll find out the real reason in 300 seasons. If it's like if it's like Bleach, then you'll find out like seven years from now. We said better pacing. Six years from now. Six years, I can believe. Six years. I, I guess like the pacing can't be any worse than um, like One Piece. No, it, it is not possible to have worse it, it pacing than One Piece. Have worse pacing than um, the only anime that I know of that for any... Like, it, it was not a permanent thing, but had bad or worse pacing for any period of time was uh, the like ending of Naruto because the writer was basically like, yeah, I actually don't know how they're going to defeat this guy. So I'm just going to keep writing filler until I figure it out. Here is in the chat, like actually knowing all of the things here. Actually knowing all of the things. <laughs> Apparently, Demon Slayer Apparently has has actually Slayer finished the manga. Has, has actually finished uh... the manga. Oh, didn't you hear that? Uh, One Piece is finishing oh, the manga. That, uh, One Piece is uh, the like manga? four or five years from now. Four or five years from now. You can't bring like <laughs> pull my hopes up and then say that. <laughs> yeah, One Piece creator confirms yeah. the manga series is ending. Confirms the manga series Sometime is around ending. 2025 or 26. Sometime around 2025 or 26. 2030, <laughs> got it. 2030, got it. Uh, I, I was talking to a friend recently, and I, I feel like one of my favorite things to happen, like, which, like, it isn't on purpose, and it's not like, I, I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm the coolest for this. It's just, like, funny when it works like this is, like, Someone was like asking me about One Piece, and like I was just like, "Oh no, it's not really for me." And they're like, "You know what? Tell me why." And I bet I have like, I, I bet I can like convince you. And I was like, "Oh well, it's because the writer is super mis misogynistic and like draws women as just circles with a body afterwards, technically." And he's like, "Okay, that's fair. I don't have anything for that one, actually." <laughs> I was like, "Well, what about like you said you haven't like watched Berserk or anything? Like, why do you not want to watch that?" I'm like, "I don't know. Just like the like." sexual harassment and stuff, horrible backstories and stuff. He's like, okay, also fair, but it, it, it is good. I'm like, okay, it's just not a thing I want to watch, though. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. Understandable. That is what I don't get when I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't feel comfortable with these themes. Like, okay, but it's really good. I'm like, do you not know what I just said? <laughs> nope. Apparently not. What'd you say? Yeah, that sounds about right for this group. One answers your question, one didn't hear you, and the other is staring off into space eating. Oh, also, when I but say they recognized when they were called out. They recognized when they were called out. <laughs> Uh, when I say Naruto Infinite Filler, I mean, they literally, I think it was basically a, I guess enchantment spell is like the best way to describe it. And it was literally called like the infinite whatever. And it just like put every single character from the entire anime under a spell where it just showed them like their worst nightmare. And so every chapter is just a different character doing the same thing that once it, they're snapped out of it, no longer is relevant and did not involve character growth in any way. It was literally just, well, I've got nothing. Let me just write this. Yeah. 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 You know how I figured out how to kill that, how to make them win against that character? He introduced a, a, a more powerful bad guy. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> yeah, it, it, works. it did it works. work somehow. All right. Well, to close this out, let's right, uh, to close this out, let's, uh let's do a couple rounds of um, let's do a couple rounds guesser. Of, uh, 
guesser. Ah, yes. Tim hasn't been around for this. Tim hasn't been so, around for Tim, what am I doing? This no, is the oh, yeah. evolved the form of evolved the uh, eccentric, of subreddits the, uh, eccentric subreddits segment, where we just go on here on guest slash r slash dot io um, and <laughs> the point is to guess what <laughs> slash r this is what, what, subreddit what subreddit is this, is this. So, so okay got some some okay. cross stitch of a thing oh all right subnautica oh. players all right so maybe uh, our slash so Go ahead. I shouldn't have looked away from the screen. Yeah, that one was also <laughs> some <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh thank god, I only have to do the final one. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good, everyone. Okay, yeah. I'm thinking this is the Subnautica okay, subreddit. I'm, this I'm gonna guess yeah. this is our subreddit. Subnautica. Pretty sure yeah, that first sub... cross stitch thing is a creature from Subnautica. Pretty sure as well. Pretty sure. Ding ding well. ding! Great job. Yay. Okay. Great job. Yay. Okay. I, Next one. I only play dumb Nautica. Okay. Next one. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we okay. have. We have. Okay. Talks about COVID talks and. About COVID that's and a Japanese bar. No. I mean, Asahi is a Japanese I mean, beer, Asahi but. Should people who knowingly put others at risk of COVID face no punishment of consequences? Oh, is this? Oh, is this? Ask Reddit. Ask Reddit. That would be a wild one to get for this. This. These are all questions. Yeah, this could be Ask Reddit. Yeah, this could be Ask Reddit. I hope it's like question Reddit. I hope it's like the, an off-brand. Nope, not Ask Reddit. Nope, not Ask Reddit. Uh, all right. Do you think Singaporeans uh, have low right. EQ? Singapore well, first of all, EQ doesn't EQ. exist. Well, Second of all, EQ exist. Of all <laughs> Singaporean? Ask Singapore. <laughs> Ask Singapore. Here's another Singapore. <laughs> Here's another Singapore. Maybe R slash Singapore. Maybe R slash Singapore. That answer is Ask pretty Singapore? close. That answer is <laughs> pretty close. Is it? Ask Singapore. Holy cow, it's Ask Singapore! Holy cow, it's oh my what, God. The, what the heck is up with that? What but, the heck is up okay. with that? But, yeah, what a okay. very specific Reddit. Yeah. Uh, whenever you're done with your current... Uh, uh, whenever you're done with your current... Uh, 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 mission, we'll stop. Yeah. Mission. Uh, so, okay, so, uh, okay, so... This is all gaming this, stuff. This, this is, is all gaming, gaming stuff. Uh, I this see stuff. Sleeping Dogs, see Last, of Last of Us 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, Mortal Kombat 11, Dishonored 2, Skyward Sword. Okay, I was, I was thinking it might be just PlayStation yeah, only because might be just Last of Us 2. I thought that maybe too, and then I saw I Age of Empires 3. And then I saw Age yeah, and, and, so far it's all sequels yeah, that yeah, you have said. Skyward Sword. Is there an R slash sequel? Prey. Prey. Overwatch. Overwatch. Phrase a remake. Phrase a remake. Is it R slash video games? Oh, I'm thinking of a different game. Oh, I'm thinking of a different game. Um, For R slash gaming. Yeah, I'll try gaming. Yeah. Pretty I'll close. Pretty close. It helps if I can spell. Video no. games. No. All right. So gaming was pretty close. No. Right, so gaming Video was games pretty was close. not. Video games was not. Okay. So the string has uh, okay, the character string, string has, has gaming the in character it. Character string has gaming. Probably. In it. Probably. Video game. Now we just tried that one. Now we just tried that one. Folder. Folder. Ooh. Uh, these are all. Uh, these are all, like, Easter egg sort of things, like, Easter eggs I, I guess not, like, I guess no, oh, uh, what's the hitbox? No, oh, uh, the hitbox? Oh, hitbox coin? Because this is, if you walk on the edge of something, you will tread cautiously, and another one, uh, and the way dust one. particles caught in a shaft of sunlight uh, are displaced by Ellie's movement. Are displaced by Ellie's um, is it, like, 
Well, I guess it's probably not gaming porn. I feel like that's a different subreddit. Now that that very first one doesn't have anything to do with hitboxes. And also, hitbox right. porn does not have gaming in the right. title at all. Yeah. Yeah. Gaming secrets? Here's Gaming here's secrets. more of a mistake. So more of a mistake, more of a mistake so, but in a Hitman 2016 mission, a touchscreen smartphone is being used, even though it's set in 99. I mean, Gaming secrets, that sounds Yeah, Gaming Secrets sounds very possible. Uh... Is it like, did you know gaming or something like that? Nope. <laughs> Alright, I'll take one more and then I'll, I'll give right. up on this. I'll take one more and then I'll, I'll give up on this. Aiming references? Most of these are a reference to something else. Most of these are a reference to something else. Yeah, but not all of them. But I'll, I'll try it. Yeah. Nope. Not all of them, but I'll Give up. Try it. Gaming nope. details. Give up. Details, okay. Gaming details. Sure. Uh, Alright, and then... Last one. And then IWTL. IWTL. What? I'm gonna just. I wish to learn. I'm gonna. I wish to learn. I wish to learn. Nope. Let me try it. IWTL. IWTL. Nope. IWTL. Nope. And it it should. Uh, and it it should. I want to learn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well done. Nice. Yeah, you you went off the I want to teach. Yeah, you you right went there. off the I want to. Because I just saw that. Right there. And. I oh no! I I just said it'd be weird to say I wish to learn not to get bullied. Like no one talks like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, All you right, finished your well, mission, and you we got three correct. We got three correct. Out of four. Out of four. So not bad. Seventy-five percent. Passing great. So not bad. It's it's better than we did last time. It's it's better yeah. than we did last time. <laughs> How bad did we do last time? I don't remember. Uh, it was like 60% correct. Uh, like 60%. Still not bad, but... Still not bad, but... Uh, not good. No. Not not great. No, Alright, well... Not, not great. Thanks, everyone. Right, well, oh, thanks, that's everyone. That's the thing it should be. There we go. Haha, I fixed it. It's not screwed up anymore. Haha, I fixed it. We'll see y'all next week. We'll see when all it's gonna be week. Tim and I, when and that's it. Tim yeah. And I. Oh yeah. And that's it. Oh, yeah. Exciting. What will we play? Who knows? It'll what probably be a first-person shooter. Who knows? It'll probably be a first-person <laughs> shooter. Bye.